In this video, I will show you exactly how to set up the Verizon Fios Wi-Fi extender, E3200 step-by-step. You have two options to connect it, coax or ethernet. First, let's see how to do the coax setup. Place the extender near your main Verizon router. Plug one end of the coax cable into the wall outlet and the other end into the coax port on the extender. Then plug in the power cable and turn it on. Wait a few minutes until the light on top turns solid white. That means it's connected. Once it's ready, you can move the extender to another room with a coax outlet for better coverage. Just wait again for the solid white light to confirm it's working. After that, let's see how to do the ethernet setup. Take an ethernet cable and plug one end into your router's LAN port, then connect the other end to the WAN port on the extender. Plug in the power cable and wait for the light to turn solid white. Once it does, your extender is ready to go. If the light turns yellow, it means the signal is weak, and if it's red, it's not connected. Solid white means everything's working perfectly. Like and subscribe if this is helpful.